so limit means finding the confident approximate value of the function when the function's value is actually indeterminate. How to find that confident approximate value of the function? There are two methods. <coughs> One is tabular method. The other is factorization method. What is the trouble you have? What happened? <laughs> tabular method we will finish today. Factorization will require two days. So next two days the chapter will get over. <clears throat> now what is tabular method? <clears throat> Suppose it is given that x tends to okay, tends to means it will be denoted in this way limit. <coughs> limit will be denoted as lim in short form and x tends to a particular value <coughs> say a and <coughs> some function of x will be given ok so tabular method what we do is suppose we are given that x tends to 5 <coughs> means if you put the value of 5 the function is indeterminate so how do we find the value of the function by taking the values near to 5 in tabular method Okay, like I gave you the example yesterday, if you remember the function was x square plus 6x minus 4 suppose upon x minus 4. I told you if x tends to 4, rather 2, then 2 minus 2 becomes 0. So we cannot put the value of 2. And here we have to use the concept of limit. In tabular method what we will do is, we will take the values near to 2. So here it would be limit x. What do you read this as? Tends to. Tends to means nearer to. Approaches to. It cannot be 2. Because if it is 2 then the value is indeterminate. 2 minus 2? 0. x cannot be 2 but it can be near to 2. So in tabular method, in the number line, First, we will take 3 to 4 values of the left side of 2 very near to 2. Like 1.9, 1.99, 1 1.999 and 1.9999. In the number line, will these values come on the left side of 2 or not? Yes. <clears throat> and we will find what is the value of fx. Putting in x, 1.9. 1.9999949. Okay. And then we will also try with the values on the right side of 2. Four values on the right side of 2. 2.1, 2.01, and 2.0001. Means you keep on going close to 2. With every succeeding value, you keep on going to close to 2. That is why we say tends to 2. And you'll find fx comes nearer to a particular value. Let us say 30. Your answer comes 30. Means if you put 1.9, your answer might come 29.98. When you put 1.99, it'll come 29.9998. The value will keep on coming nearer to 30. And same way with the right side values also. But if you put 2, it will come 0. Indeterminate. Other than 2, if you put a value, it will come close to a particular value. With this tabular method, we can find out that if x is near to 2, then fx will be near to what value? Okay, so suppose this x is the speed and this function is the time in which we will reach to and the other. So exactly 2 is not possible. Exactly 60 kilometers is not possible. So we take the values near to 60 from the left side also and right side also. And we try to find out that we would reach and the value how many hours. You'll find that if you take left side of 60, your distance comes slightly more than 2 hours. And you take more right side of 60, your distance comes slightly less than 2 hours. And you conclude that you will reach near about 2 hours. So that is what we are going to do in tabular method. We'll take 4 values of x on the left side of the number line. And we'll take four values of the x on the right. right side of the number line, but very nearer to a. A means the constant number which is given. Okay. And what you do in factorization is you factorize the numerator. So denominator x minus 2 would get 
cancel and then in the remaining portion you directly substitute to to get your answer but that will start from tomorrow on this. today we'll practice which method yeah. is everyone clear with this so there is no formula for this it is just a concept based thing so i'm not making you write any formula but only how do you <coughs> write the limit in symbols it is denoted as limit x tends to a <coughs> and some function of fx will be <coughs> note down this and in the summary <coughs> so exercise 4.2 we will finish today tabular method <coughs> concept is clear everyone in tabular method we'll take four values on the left side of a very close to a and we'll take four values on the the right side of the number line of a very close to a and we'll find the values of fx and we'll conclude that if x goes near to a then fx would go near to which particular value <clears throat> and in factorization you'll factorize it, uh, do the factorization of numerator so denominator value which is coming in determinate will get cancelled and in the remaining portion we will substitute the value of x yes a x tends to a means we'll substitute the value of a in factorization when we come across then i'll make you write certain formulas etc so that when we solve the questions it helps you so shall i start with the practical questions exercise 4.2 question 1 one i am explaining you rest i'll ask you and understand the method properly page number 150 Question one. First sub question, I'll explain you. So be attentive, everyone. In fact, two I'll explain you. First one is very simple. So one and two I'll explain you, and then three, four, five I'll ask you. So first one. Limit x tends to one. I hope you are clear how to read this. Limit x tends to one. T E N D S. And when we say T E N D S tends to one, it means it is nearer to one. Okay. And the function of x is two x plus one. Now in tabular method, we are supposed to make four columns. X. F X. X. fx is everyone clear with this four columns we are supposed to make in tabular method <coughs> as i said <coughs> first understand then you can make the table as i said we will take four values <coughs> on the left side of number line of 1 so in the number line on the left side of 1 0.9 leave two lines 0.99 Leave two lines. Zero point triple nine. Leave two lines. Zero point nine 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 nine. Okay. And we will take four values on the right side of the number line. So one point one, one point zero one, double zero one, and triple zero one. First questions will solve the function. Therefore, I am leaving two lines. In exams, you don't have to show the solution of the function. You can do it in rough and directly write the values. So from next question onwards, even if you leave one line in between, it is sufficient. Okay. Presently, we'll show the solution. So leave two lines. Okay. Make this clear. Now, what we are supposed to do is be attentive. Shall I proceed with the calculation? Everyone has written it. Yes. Now, see so the function of f f x is two x plus one. In x we have to substitute 0.9. 2 into 0.9 plus 1. 2 into 0.9, 1.8 plus 1, 2.8. And this is what I was saying that this right side calculations are not required to be shown. You can directly do it in calculator and write it in exams. This one is simple, but next functions will be complicated ones. So I'll explain in calculator how to do it. <clears throat> is everyone clear with the first one? 
Then, Ishan. Two into zero point nine nine plus one. 1.98 plus 1, 2.98. That's why I told you to leave two lines in between. Okay? Then, Akansha is 2 into 0 0.999 plus 1, 1.998 plus 1, 2.99, 0 0.9999 plus 1, 2.99 plus 1, 1.9998. You can see that as x is going near to 1, then fx is going near to 3 or not. So that is what we are trying to say. Exactly 1 is not possible. But when we go near to 1, you get the answers nearer to 3. Is everyone clear with this? Any confusions? <coughs> then 1.1 now. So 2 into 1.1 .1 plus 1, 2.2 .2 plus 1, 3.2. 2 into 1.01 .01 plus 1, 2.02 plus 1, 3.02, plus 1, 2 into 1.001 1 .001 plus 1, 2.002 plus 1, 3.02 plus 1, 2.001 .001 1, 2.001 plus Sorry, triple zero, two plus one, three point triple zero. You'll find as we are going to towards one, fx is going towards three. And that is what we have to conclude in here. Thus, as x tends to one, fx tends to three. Means write that arrow, don't write the E and D S. Again, symbols you are right. Thus, as x tends to 1, fx tends to 3. This is the tabular method. Very, very simple and simple. Is everyone clear with it? Four values on the left side of the number line are to be substituted. Four values on the right side. Okay? And when the values are indeterminate, this is the best way to find the x. So, question 2. One more I take up as I said. Now, we will leave only one more line in between. As I said, Rough, you can do the calculations because inside the table doing the calculations will become very complicated. So, anyone still solving the first question? Raise your hand. And there is a simple method also. Do in calculator the calculations are in rough only for two values. And after doing it for two values, you'll see a pattern 2.8 then, 9 and then. Directly, you can write 9 and then. Triple 9. You can see 3.202 and 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Straight away also you can write that. Okay? So limit x tends to 3. x square minus 2x minus 3 upon who is talking? Upon x minus 3. Now see here, the first uh, example of limit does not really explain the concept of limit, but here, if you put 3 in x, then 3 minus 3, 0. Anything divide by 0, indeterminate, ill-defined. Okay, divide by 0's answer is not possible in the world. Indeterminate, ill-defined. It means, or now does it mean that 3 value is not possible? <coughs> So what we do is we use the concept of because when we take 3 the answer is indeterminate. So we take the limit towards 3. Limit towards 3 means we take 4 values on the left side of 3, 4 values on the right side of 3 and we try to find out our function would come near to which value. Okay, so this is a perfect example of that speed and time I gave. <coughs> that exactly 3 is not possible means exactly 60 km speed is not possible and exactly reaching it towards is not possible. So we try to find out by taking the different values near about what time we would reach the other place. Did you understand this? So in such instances we use the concept of limits. So kind of tabular method and same columns.
x fx x fx four values <coughs> there which four values will take left side near to 3 2.9 now you can leave only one one line 2.99999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999
And if anyone is getting confused, you can count the remaining two also. There is no problem. But by the way, now, how would you do it in calculator? So listen to that. Anyone still writing? Calculators are there? Yes. First of all, they should know, should, there should be no memory on the screen. M is visible or not? No. Not visible. Do, first we have substituted 2.9. Do 2.9 into equals to. Square means into equals to? What do you get? Put it in M plus. Okay. Then do 2 into 2.9. Now listen. Do you find before that it's a negative number? Put it in M minus. That's fine. Then 3 is a negative number. Put 3 in M minus. 3 in M minus. Press MR. And first value, so divide by 0 0.1. Okay. Minus. Minus 3.9, but denominator is minus, so minus minus will get cancel. Answer is 3. Point. Okay, 2 for the second one. 2.99 in, first of all, just one minute. Press MRC 2-3 times and cancel the old memory. And press ON also 2-3 times. M should not be visible on the screen. Now do it. 2.99 into equals to. Put it in M plus. Then do 2 into 2.99. Put it in M minus. Because it's a negative number. Direct it 3 and M minus. Okay, MR divide by 0 0.01. 3.9, it's coming negative, but denominator is not negative, so negative, negative will get cancelled. Means if for these four numbers, if your answer in the calculator comes negative, take it positive. And this said, if your answer comes positive, take it opposite. Is everyone clear with it? Any confusions? No, this said, if it comes negative change the sign and this side keep it same because here the denominator is going to be positive. Okay, here you change the sign and here you keep it same. So let us do it with right side also two values. Now we directly do it on calculator. Yes. Do it. 3.1 into M plus. Old memory is cancelled. Okay, ensure that always. Then 2 into 3.1 M minus. 3 M minus MR divided by 0 0.1 4.1 4 By the way, the other will come 4.01001001 But you can verify One more, at least two values always do it If you see the trend then you can directly write the remaining At least two values perform it Do 3.01, first of all cancel the old memory, okay? 3.01 into M plus 2 into 3.01 M minus 3 M minus <coughs> Divide by MR divide by 0 0.01 4.01 point zero one. Now two values you get in this order Then you can write Double zero one Triple zero one did you understand this? So thus, as x arrow 3, it means x tends to 3, comma fx arrow 4, is fx coming near to 4 or not? Yes. Means fx tends to 4. Did you understand this portion everyone? So very very simple and scoring and now we will not be showing this calculations, we will be directly doing in the remaining questions. So third one. Is everyone clear with this? Limit x tends to 2. Two. 2x two squared plus 3x minus 14. Divide by x minus 2. Here also if you put 2, you will see 2 minus 2? Zero. 0. 
Okay, you will put 2, then you will find the value comes to? 0. zero. So we need to use the tabular method or factorization method to find out if value goes near to 2 then what functional values are possible. Make the same columns. x, fx, x, fx. <clears throat> Which four values I'll take on the left side of the number line? 1.9, 1.99, 999, 999, 999, 2.1, 2.01, 2.001, and 2. Now, no need to show even one of the values you can directly use the calculator for that as I'm saying. So do it. <laughs> Who are still writing up till here? Who are still writing up till here? Now listen carefully. Always first perform this x cube part. Square. Square. First always perform that. Means if you substitute this 1.9, do it 1.9 into equals to. Is that square or not? Don't put it in M plus. Can you do 1.9 into equals to? Now multiply that with 2 and then put it in M plus. <coughs> Understood this? Any confusions? I repeat 1.9 into equals to multiplied by 2 M plus. Now do 3 into 1.9 and on the left side, it is positive or negative? Positive. Positive, so put it in M plus. <coughs> then 14 directly put it in M minus. And for the first number, MR divided by 0 0.1. Do it MR divided by 0 0.1. If you get minus, change the sign. For these numbers, change the sign. What do you get? 10 point. Eight. Any confusions? Silence? Okay? Mostly you must get 10.989899998. But at least one more verified then write it. So do it. 1.99 into equals to into 2m plus. Are you able to understand? 3 into 1.99m plus because on the left side it's positive so m plus. 14 m minus now mr now for the second number you will divide by 0 0.01 do mr divide by 0 0.01 10.98 now don't do it 10.998 10.9998 and if you want you can do it is everyone clear with this all of you all these values are obtained now in x we have to substitute 2 point again first two values will calculate so anyone who is still doing up till here do 2.1 into equals to into 2 m plus i hope you are cancelling the old memories always okay 3 into 2.1 m plus 14 m minus mr divided by 0 0.1 for the first one divided by 0 0.1 11.2 11.2 do you get this? Yes. and here don't change the sign signs will change for the left side numbers now 2.01 2.01 into equals to into 2 m plus 3 into 2.01 m plus 14 m minus <coughs> MR divided by second number 0 0.01. You get 11.02? No, directly right. Double zero two, eleven point triple zero. Thus, as x tends to two, fx tends to eleven. You can see fx values are going to near, near to eleven. So. All are clear with this? Any conclusions? And fourth one.
limit x tends to minus 3 2x square plus 9x plus 9 upon x plus 3 see here also if you put minus 3 then minus 3 plus 3 will become 0 did you understand this portion everyone? ok now now which values we will take for the first one of x raise your hand which values will it take for the first one of x raise your hand the raging minus 3 correct minus 3 it's not positive 3 if it was positive 3 you would have taken 2.9 I told you we have to take first the left side of number line on the left side of number line which number will come 2.9 or 3.01 3.1 3.1 it's a negative number so take minus 3.1 minus 3.01 minus 3.001 and minus 3.001 raise your hand who did not understand this by the way it doesn't make any difference any of the sides will take any number but here your concept will go wrong that here you have to change the sign in the calculator method so all of you with this left side of number line these one numbers will come right side of the number line minus 2.9 minus 2.99 999 9999 Is everyone clear with it? Now here again first two values I am explaining it to you so understand it properly directly we are doing in calculator Here in x we have to put minus 3.1 first of all tell me square will always be positive so you put it in M plus or M minus? M plus. M plus. Okay. You don't take negative number when you're doing the calculation. Straight away take 3.1 into M plus. Sorry, into equals to. 3.1 into equals to. Then again multiply it with 2 and put it in M plus. Though the number is negative, did you understand why did I put it in M plus? Because square will become positive. Did you do this? Now directly do 9 into 3.1 but 9 into minus 3.1 would be a positive number or negative? negative? So put it in M minus. 9 into 3.1 M minus. 9 in M plus and MR divided by 0. 0.1. What do you get? You get a positive answer or negative? So you make it negative change the sign. Understood this? One more we will calculate but it should come to 3.02, 0002, 0002 and 0002 but then very fine. Yes, do it 3.01 into equals to multiplied by 2 and M plus because square will always be positive. Then do 9 into 3.01 M minus because plus into minus will become minus. Then directly 9 in M plus divide by for the second number MR divide by 0 0.01. 0 .01. You get minus 3.02? Yes. So the remaining no need to calculate. Double zero two. Triple zero two. Two values calculate rest two directly right. Like Okay? Here, do it. Two point, here we don't have to change the sign. Okay? You get negative only. Automatically. 2.9 into equals to multiplied by 2 M plus. 9 into 2.9 M minus. 9 M plus. MR divided by 0.1 minus 2.8 okay then you must get minus 2.98 but let us verify 2.99 into equals to multiplied by 2 m plus okay do cancel the old memory before putting the next one 
then 2.9 into 2.99 m minus 9 in m plus mr divided by 0.01 minus 2.98 minus 2.998 minus 2.9998 thus as x tends to minus 3 fx tends to <coughs> minus 3 only your fx is also coming near to minus 3 is everyone able to understand this now fifth question more simple than this nothing is possible the function of x is x so values will remain same not even required to use the calculator Right on fourth one. Fifth one. Silence. Limit x tends to two, and the function is yes. Be attentive. Right x tends to two. Two exactly. Have I taken it? Question five here I'm doing X. Yes, we are under. Yes, Abhishek sir told you the smart word. Smart word leads to success. So F X equals to X itself means directly 1.9, 1.99, 1.999. 1.9999 as x tends to do f x also tends to do complete it first did you understand this raise your hand when still solving that shall i erase it everyone has completed now look at question number 2 be attentive using tabular method show that limit x tends to 3 2 upon x minus 3 and line does not exist now when they say show that a function does not exist it means in all our answers in question 1 fx was coming near to a particular value in such questions fx will not come near to any one particular value all the values will come weird and different either they will go towards minus infinity and positive infinity or for all the values you get very different answers here we say that any one value is not possible is everyone clear the procedure remains same so write down limit x tends to 3 2 upon x minus 3 tabular method stop talking in between 4 values we have to take so x fx x and fx because it's 3 2.9 now be attended if we substitute 2.9 See, actually, I told you denominators we know. First denominator is going to be 0 0.1, second 0 0.01. And numerator there is no x. So simply do 2 divided by 0 0.1 and change the sign. So minus 20. Okay, any confusion in this? For the second one, 2 divided by 0 0.01 and 
change the sign minus 200. Then 2 divided by 0 0.001, 2000. 2 divided by 0 0.0001, 20,000. So does it come near to a particular value? You can see as you take more close values, the answer is going to minus infinity. It is going near to minus infinity. Same way here, positive, no need to do the calculations again. Denominator will be positive. So same answers in positive sign. Did you understand this? Means here the function does not exist. Okay, so write down below that does. S x tends to 3, arrow 3. S x tends to 3, comma. F x does not approach a particular value. First of this, limit of function does not exist. Thus, limit of function does not exist. Understood this everyone? Yes. Question 3. If y equals to instead of fx, now we will write y, that is the only difference. Now we will write y. Yes, is it over or not still? Last page. y equals to x square plus x minus 6 upon x minus 2. Show that as x tends to 2, then y tends to 5. Means your answer will come near to 5 is already mentioned. Okay, so straight away also you can write 4.8, 4.98, 4.998, 4.99. 5.2, 4.2, 4.2, 4.2, 4.2, 4.2, 4.2, 4.2, 4.2, 4.2, 4.2, 4.2, 4.2, 4.2, 4.2, 4.2, 4.2, 4.2, 4.2, 4.2, 
y equals to 5 minus 2x. Now the function is simple one. You can perform all the calculations also. y equals to 5 minus 2x. Then show that as x tends to 1, y tends to 7. So tabular method. x fx x fx <coughs> x tends to minus 1 ok it's a negative number be careful so which values will take first minus 1.1 1. 1. minus 1.01 1. 0. 1. double 0. 1. triple 0. 1. and here minus 0. 0.9 0 0.99999999 Now, listen everyone Minus 1.1 So, minus into minus will become plus First of all, put 5 in M plus because it's a positive number Then do 2 into 1.1 and again put it in M plus because minus into minus will become Yes. Press MR. Now don't divide the point mark. In denominator, there is no factor. In denominator, there is no factor. What do you get answer? 7.2. Understood this? Is it coming positive or negative? So what do you do? And keep it positive only. <laughs> there is no denominator. The sign will not change. What answer you are getting itself is your answer. Now again put 5 in M plus. Then 2 into 1.01 in M plus. MR. 7.02. 7.002. And 7.002. Understood this? <coughs> Same way now here also do 5 in M plus, 2 into 0 0.9 in M plus, MR, 6.8, then 6.98, do 5 in M plus, 2 into 0 0.99 in M plus, MR, 98, 6.998, 6.9998, thus, as x tends to 2, sorry, 1, minus 1. As x tends to minus 1, comma y tends to 7. So all are clear with this tabular method and equation. Very, very simple and scoring. Homework illustration 5 to 9 and exercise Page 165, exercise for section E question 1 and 2. Page 165, section E, exercise for section E question 1 and 2. 1 has 3 sub questions, 2 has 4 sub questions. Okay, 1 and 2 means no only the first one. So, as very fine now. Tabular method is over now, factorization method 2 days it will take. Sit down. Give me that schedule. First of all, I particularly knew that many would raise your hands but don't, would not show me the schedule next day. So on Monday when I ask how many of you are going to make it and show it to me, tomorrow only one person out of 70 students showed it to me. That's it. Shiva. No one has showed me the schedule next year. And I'm sure you would not have prepared also. So, I have done this labor and with the help of Sukhetu sir. First of all, let me tell you that in making this, we have or I have particularly devoted 5 to 6 hours. 
plus three days in the morning, two hours I am devoting it because in Excel it's very difficult to make and adjust the columns for so many weeks. So this is done for your sake. Respect my six hours and try to follow this. What is given on the first page two sides is just an illustration. You have to make this schedule as per your comfort level. So I'm just reading it out how you're supposed to make it. On the back side, I've given you four sheets. So see that maybe the stapler is not done correctly. But first week, second week, third week, fourth week, that way. So you fill up from first week onwards, okay? In first week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday is over. So Thursday, Friday, Saturday is to be filled up by you after going home today. Now what you're supposed to do is See, I went back almost 25 years ago and tried to verify how I would do it when I was in 11th or 12th standard. And I tried to recollect what I used to do. So I found that I used to generally wake up during the exam, at least this time, January, February, March, last three crucial months. I generally used to wake up at 7 o'clock in the morning. Okay? Otherwise, I am a late night sleeper and wake up late in the morning. But during exams, I used to follow this schedule. So in the morning, 7 o'clock, and you'll find that first part of the table is occupied. Yes. I have overestimated the time every day. I am 100% sure you require less than that time only. Like 7 to 8, morning tea, little bit snacks, biscuits, etc. Do have it. If your stomach is not filled, nothing will go into your mind. So that you'll do and then basic necessities of the morning. <laughs> so for that one hour is more than sufficient. Right? Everywhere I overestimated the time. Then 10 to 10.30 breakfast, I hope you all are not khalis. <laughs> then you keep on eating. Anymore. And this schedule doesn't mean 10 to 10.30 you mentioned means you sit on the table. <laughs> On your own, okay? Then lunch from 1 to 1 30 and see how considerate I am that after 1 30, 1 30 to 2 30 sleep also for one hour. Because after eating, I know afternoon lunch, then your senses won't work so and all the mothers always cook very tasty and delicious food. So <clears throat> after that 2.45 to 4.45, 2 hours for homework of tuitions. And if you feel that you are consuming more time, because these days I have given you with accounts work also. So if you feel that 2 hours you are taking in doing that, book itself, 3 sections. And this homework requires plus 30 minutes or 40 minutes, then in your schedule when you put the time occupied, put it accordingly so that you are able to find how much time you are free. Then, after that, 4.45, 5.30 to 9, I have given the tuitions time. Don't tell at your home that our tuitions from tomorrow at 5.30 to 9. <laughs> tuitions are 6 to 8.15 only, but you start from home, 5.30, some start at 5 o'clock also. And 8.15 means some I see are standing down, trying to hide the sleep on the floor also, so that they are not visible when I go by the car. So, 9.15, 9.30 also, they are here. And I always observe when I climb the stairs, that slope area is so clean every day. Because of your efforts, it's so clean every day. So, 5.30 to 9 I have given the tuition timings, 3 or 30 minutes, plus 9 to 10. See how considerate I am. Entertainment and dinner. So dinner, television, that also can be done in one hour. And night, 12 to morning, 7 sleep of 7 hours, plus afternoon, 1 hour. So that makes 8 hours a day, which is? normal and sufficient. Eight hours of sleep means you'll be perfectly well. One more thing, sleep more at night but less in afternoon. 
Afternoon, don't plan like eight hours, don't plan fifty fifty percent, four hours. <laughs>
So from Monday to Saturday, whatever works comes in pending column. You have to cover up on Sunday. And by chance, if you are able to do from Monday to Saturday, then I told you earlier also. Reward yourself and show and see the most important part in this table is the last thing. Sign of parents. <laughs> you have to show it to us every day. You have to take the signature of parents and show it to us. And very first thing after going home today, show this to them. They'll be very happy. They'll feel proud of you that you are doing something like this. Okay, you can tell them that you have made it, I don't mind. Okay? You can take the credit of my efforts, I don't mind. Them. And what you are supposed to do is, today, make the schedule, Wednesday is already over. So Thursday, Friday, Saturday, don't take the signature of your parents tomorrow, just show them today. Thursday's schedule, you follow it completely and take the signature Friday morning. They will already be knowing, because you are at home only, so they will be knowing what you are doing at that time. <laughs> so take the signature and don't fool us because every day from Friday onwards, I have given instructions to call at 10 students' persons home, randomly. So your turn can come any of the days. And we are going to verify you are following this or not. And are they signing it or someone else signing it? <laughs> are they aware of such a thing or not? So today you have to go home and show this to your parents and you will tell them that you are going to abide by this. Okay? Any confusions in putting up the work, you can take my suggestions and help you.